Hey Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. Um, those of you guys that are new, welcome, welcome. Um, thank you for coming. This should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. It can also um, resonate for Cross Watchers. Sometimes the situation is reversed or flipped. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're listening to the reading. Also, too, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also, please feel free to comment. I love reading your guys' comments and interacting with you and seeing if the reading resonates or not. So, Cancer, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. Who's Cancer's person of interest romantically? Who's coming in for Cancer? Who's Cancer's person of interest? Who's Cancer are thinking about or dealing with? Right. Okay, Cancer, you could possibly be dealing with an Aquarius, maybe, or somebody that has a um, Mercury in Aquarius. And I just want to say, like, I give you guys the signs that are associated because you guys like that. Um, but for me, it's more so the characteristics and kind of gives a story. So those of you guys are like, oh, I'm not dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, cool. Like, Let's get into it and figure out, like, what the hell else is going on, okay? How does Cancer feel about this person romantically? Okay, Eight of Swords, possibly a Gemini, or you guys are at a distance or currently not talking to one another. Um, what is the current issue, wait, issue or situation between Cancer and their person of interest? Princess of Wands. This definitely can be a Aries, Sag, or Leo. Um, pages or princesses also tend to be earth signs. So also, uh, the secondary sign can be something like, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Uh, maybe they have a Virgo moon, you know, the earth signs would more so be like Virgo moon, Virgo rising, uh, or, or Venus. Okay. What is, uh, the current, um, woo. All right. I was going to say, what's the block? Or the external influence, and it is the Eight of Wands reverse. So obviously, there, there obviously there's some type of lack of communication here, or um, something is not coming in. All right, what is the best potential outcome here for Cancer and their person of interest romantically? Judgment. Okay, so this is also Aquarius, uh, Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo, or Taurus. Something's coming back around here for you guys. I feel like, you know, there's been a lot of soul searching and a lot of thinking. Um, either, you know, over you, Cancer, right? But I think that you're more passionate right now. I think that you're, you know, in a position where you're feeling good, you're looking good, you're ready to go get out there and, you know, either find somebody or you're having a level of clarity of what you want or what you, you know, seek in a partner. Um, I do have the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands over here for top and bottom deck. So that definitely can be Aries. It can also be, uh, Cancer as well. Maybe you had a conversation with an Aries or there was some type of, you know, aha moment, um, that came with a level of communication. However, I do feel like very strongly that, um, you are coming up as fire right now. You're very passionate about something. And also, you know, really in that uh, position where you're ready to take action. Okay. So, Cancer, Cancer. Why are you showing me the Six of Swords? You guys uh, can be at a distance, okay, with the Six of Swords. Or it can be a level of open communication. Something that needs to be said here. What needs to be said here with, with their partner or their person of interest. Okay, Ace of Wands. Hey, I want to see you. Hey, where do we take this? Where do we go from here? This can be a new type of relationship that just recently started. More information on the person of interest. Um, it can be one that maybe started off as friends. Okay, maybe it's a doctor or it's somebody, you know, at your local coffee shop that you met. It's something here about meeting somebody platonically. And I think for you guys, uh, the fact that temperance is here, you also can be dealing with the Sag, but also too, um, this person, I feel like they take the good and the bad, right? They take as, as above, so below, and they're really kind of combining it into one. They're doing a lot of self work under, under the, uh, under the skin that I think that you don't know about, which may be why you're stuck in your head about this communication. Um, 
what is there? One more time. Aquarius is coming in heavily. The star just popped out. What is this person working on? The two of cups. There you are, Cancer. And this is 100% Cancer. That's all about, you know, love, care, um, attention, affection. And the two of cups, honestly, is one of my favorites. That's uh, Cancer, Pisces, or um, Gemini. And something to remember about the two of cups is it's a lot of passion here in the very, in the present moment. And this is Cancer Venus. Okay. And Venus and Cancer is all about wanting to take care of somebody. And if this person is in a transformation with temperance, they're preparing themselves to make an offer. They're preparing themselves for what they can give somebody else. They're preparing themselves for a romantic partner that they can be, you know, successful with. It's also, you know, showing love and attention and affection. Again, Cancer, here you are. I do think that this person will be coming towards you uh, very soon. If you guys are at a distance, I do see you guys making arrangements or this person making arrangements to see you. Um, I don't know. Every time I see the chariot, sometimes I think of like the ambulance. Maybe it's like an EMT or it's a nurse, or it's a doctor, or it's somebody who, you know, is, does something to help people, right? That's kind of how I look at the chariot. Also, too, this person is very confident. They're highly, highly confident about, you know, what they're coming in to offer, um, or they're portraying that, I should say, and it is a level of stability after, I think that they, you know, a rough patch that they've gone through. I do want to say that, Cancer. Um, can you give me one card here for Cancer's person of interest romantically? There was something that needed to end prior to them, you know, reaching out to you. Ten of Swords. Okay, could definitely be a Gemini or some, you know, that's definitely Gemini energy. Um, this person went through um, a bad breakup or some type of heartache, and it could possibly be with you, Cancer, or it can just be in general what's caused the ten of swords the seven of cups maybe feeling like an option okay or being having a level of uncertainty here this is also scorpio um you know i just feel like this person for whatever reason it's like they have a very calm cool demeanor however in the inside i think there is a level of insecurity where they always ask ask themselves like am i enough do i have enough to give somebody you know there's a level of uncertainty here also too um this person may have you know some type of addiction or something that they want to hide because they're not necessarily comfortable with expressing there also could have been could have been some type of level of betrayal here um why what's the energy of the devil or that's capricorn right three of wands Maybe this person is very fixated, okay, on you because they're waiting. The, the, that's also Aries as well. It's like they're waiting for you guys to see each other. You know, they're very fixated on you, Cancer. So if all of a sudden, you know, you're not talking to somebody and then somebody random pops up in your head that you dealt with a while ago, it's because this person is very fixated on you. Why are they fixated on Cancer? Because the high, or Because of the Empress. I mean, let's just state the obvious. First of all, like, they're highly attracted to you. You're very sexually appealing. Um, you're somebody who, you know, catches their attention at all times. They know that, you know, you turn you turn heads at all times, right? They know that if somebody is looking at you, it's like, oh, shit, here comes cancer. You know what I mean? And you show enough of yourself where you're revealing some, but not completely everything, but there's just a level of class and sexiness that's definitely brought in by you. And I think that's why they're fixated. They're fixated on, you know, where you guys go from here. Where do you grow? How does, you know, how does this situation work? How do I change, you know, what's happened in the past and have a level of forward movement here? One card here for Cancer and the person of interest. Okay. It says, stop trying to control every damn thing. Let shit go and don't be so extra. Okay. So that's kind of interesting. 
for this partner. Uh, especially since, if you think about it, the devil is a very controlling energy. It's a very fixed energy or a fixated energy where, you know, they want what they want, right? Um, about, you know, really putting a level of structure or discipline and having that in order, you know, before some somebody is approachable or they are able to approach you. You know, I just think for this person, they have to let it go. They have to let the control go in order to be with you, Cancer, or in order to have that type of, you know, forward momentum with you. I am getting that strongly. How you feel about the situation is the Eight of Swords. I mean, I just feel like for you, you feel like you're in like a glass bubble and your thoughts are just running all over the place. And I think that that's hard for you Especially because, you know, one, you know, you're, you're the type of person where you feel certain things, right? So, you know, I feel like this is going on or I feel like that's going on. But now, right now, or, but now, you know, your thoughts are really taking control of things. It's like, you feel like there's a lot of obstacles here and you're just confused with how exactly this is going to grow or how exactly this is going to expand with this person. Give me more information about why Cancer is in their head about them. The Hermit, possibly a Virgo, or it's the fact that you've not talked to them. You've not seen them. You've not talked to them. You don't know what the f they're doing, right? You're in Gemini mode. It's just constant thoughts like what are they doing? Are they dating somebody else? Are they with somebody else? You know, I'm going to kill them, <laughs> you know, or, you know, I I'm, I'm getting pissed. Like what I want to know what's up. And I think that that's the issue is that this person isn't being seen. Um, and possibly it's because they're working a lot or they're working on themselves, especially with this eight of pentacles here. And that's definitely, again, um, heavy, heavy Virgo energy. So something that's really interesting here too is, you know, it's all about a level of ma uh, material like security. And also too, you know, this person is really trying to learn or maybe they're in their studying or they're in some type of class where they're learning or perfecting their craft. They're really working on their finances and trying to build something that allows them to settle down and allows them to, you know, um, take this eight to that nine where they feel completely comfortable. And right now they're still in some type of learning process. Yeah, I do think that they may be drinking a little bit, especially with that nine of cups, um, you know, and I do think that you and this person, because this is how you feel about them, I think that you would be happy with the fact that they're working. You know, it's not the fact that they're just not talking to you or a different person. You know, there's a type of illusion around what's going on. And I really just feel like this person is heavily focused in their work and really building some type of either solid foundation for their job, their practice, their um, something very significant, I should say. One more card for how Cancer feels about this person romantically. Okay, Prince of Cups definitely can be a, um, a Cancer or a Gemini. You know, I think that you're very love struck on this person. I feel like, you know, you're seeking, you know, or exploring the idea of what you and this person possibly look at, look like. I also think you want this person to be more active or more giving. Like, I think you're tired of being uninformed with what the hell's really going on here. Also, too, I think you know that there's a love that there's something encouraging yet challenging with this person. Um, what is cancer like about this person romantically? One more time. What is cancer like about this person romantically? Okay. Four of swords. Um, you know, it can be something that's very much unspoken between the two of you guys. Um, the four of swords is, uh, Jupiter and Libra where the idea of what you guys could have the potential to be is crazy. Also, too, with the Four of Swords, like, that thought excites you. Maybe, you know, the actual physical attention isn't there yet, 
But because that physical touch is in here, the idea or the possibility or the thoughts that are kind of like going around in your head, that's what's really fueling, you know, your excitement and your arousal towards this person because it does have huge potential. I just think too, you know, the fact that you don't know, there's a level of mystery here. And I definitely feel like there's a level of clarity that is needed prior to you guys really settling down. And this is definitely Leo, right? It's the need to have clarity. It's the need to know what's up. It's like, you can't move on with this person because you don't know, you know, you don't know exactly what they're thinking, right? It's also too, like, you may like the fact that this person is super low key and not, you know, into the drama. They may be very quiet, a little bit reserved. However, they come across as very strong and um, definitely, you know, having something to offer, right? King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, also Leo, you know, I just think that this person is very intelligent. They're highly intelligent. This is somebody who is very expressive. They have the ability to express, but it's also too, like you're kind of questioning like, well, what else is going on, right? What else is going on in the background? One card for what they don't like about this person. Maybe the fact that they changed, okay? Um, Wheel of Fortune. You can not like the fact that, you know, something happened. There was something that changed quickly out of nowhere. And now you're like, what the fuck? The fact that we have the hermit for how you feel about this person, obviously there's not a lot of talking going on. So that may be the, you know, the WTF moment here where shit changed or shit switched up super quick. And you're like, why did this happen? Um, what caused the wheel of fortune for cancer it's partner? Nine of pentacles. You see, this person has a level of obsession with their work. This person has a very fixed type of energy. So, you know, this person is very persistent, stubborn, practical, focused, stable, uh, dignified, attached, right? They're very tough, but they're highly independent. Um, there is a lot of strong emotions in there. However, routine is key for them. And also, too, they're very, very loyal, but this person is very focused on their money. Why are they so focused on their money? Because of the moon. Okay, this could have to do with home, or this could have to do with you, Cancer, right? Cancer or Pisces. What's being hidden? The Ace of Swords, communication. Let me ask, how would Cancer feel about this? Ooh, hold on, all the cards are dropping out. How would Cancer feel about what they're hiding? One more time, because I don't know if that was upright or not. It was the Six of Pentacles. So let's say we take that card. It can be the fact that you like the fact that they're working on, you know, themselves and they're putting time and putting effort into building something, right? Or it can also be the fact that, you know, they're definitely in a place where they're trying to rebalance their life. Um, the Six of Pentacles is also, you know, the minor arcana for justice. So they're really, you know, building their future. How cancer feel about what's changed and why, why, why it's changed? Whoa. Eight of Swords reversed. Like, I don't think that you'd be in your head anymore. Ten of Cups. It'd make you feel good. Because I think that at that point, Cancer, you'd know it wasn't you. It would take you out of that whole Gemini phase of freaking out and being a complete and utter, like, you know, uh, fixation freak. Like, I call myself, like, Fixation Freddy because if I'm in one of those moods where I can't stop fixating, like... I'm literally, you know, that's all I think about. That's all I do, you know? And I think for you guys, it's knowing once this person communicates that with you, it's, you're going to feel such a relief. It's also going to be like the secrecy and that veil is uplifted. Okay. Um, one, one card that you want cancer to know. What, what do you want cancer to know with this right now? Mm -hmm. Irritated. 
eat, sleep, cuddle, repeat. That's telling them like, you know, um, you definitely need to really, really take some time and rest up. If rest and eating and those kind of things are coming to the forefront, they're telling you that something big is coming and that you have to be rested up in order to have this forward progression, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, you realize like people are messy or this person, like how they're handling it may be a hot mess. However, you love them regardless, right? All right. So um, the current situation is a Prince of Wands, Princess of Wands. Why is this the situation? Okay, because of the Nine of Pentacles. So definitely Virgo, but this is also, you know, being critical. Somebody's, somebody, and that's Venus and Virgo. It's like somebody's being very hypercritical about making an offer because they're one, either focused on work, like I saw over here, or they're being hypercritical of themselves, right? And something that Virgos do, which is challenging, is, you know, nobody puts more pressure on a Virgo or judges a Virgo worse than Virgo. Like they put more pressure on themselves than I think, you know, any other sign you know, in, in the Zodiac, they're very much hyper analytical, very in their head. They're trying to be logical and they're trying to be efficient about what's going on. However, it's like, they feel like it starts with getting, you know, their finances and their money together first. And I asked, you know, how does cancer feel about the situation? And it's the fool. You know, I think that you're kind of blindly following, and this is uh, Pisces or Aquarius, you're blindly following the fact that, you know, intuitively, you know that this is something that you should investigate. However, it's like you're stuck and you're like, well, fuck, do I jump? Do I not jump? Like, there's a level of unpredictability here that I think makes you uncomfortable only because you being a cardinal sign, you're very ambitious and passionate and very quick, right? You're the one that can create, begin, start, you know, pop off quick, whatever, where, you know, this jump or this leap of faith, you don't know what's going to happen, right? And I do think that this other person may have came out of nowhere. Um, more information on the situation with cancer. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles. So definitely um, Capricorn energy as well as Cancer. It can also be too whether or not you're willing to invest in this. And is this something that would be good for your home life? Does this person, you know, uh, make you feel like the Queen of Pentacles? You know, uh, is this person a Capricorn? Possibly a Taurus, but Queens are, you know, those are always cardinal signs. <sighs> Are you planning this out? Are you overlooking it? Let's see how you feel about the queen. How does cancer feel about this queen of pentacles? Let's make sure it's you and not somebody else. Seven of swords. Okay. So maybe you know about this person, but you don't like the idea of them. Why? Because it's something that needs to be cut out. This is heavy Aquarius energy. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, that's all Aquarius. That's Aquarius Venus. That's, you know, uh, Seven of Swords. I think that's, um, shit, Jupiter and Aquarius? I don't know. You know, with the, five, the Fives and the Sevens, I think that you know that there's a level of conflict here. I think you know you're not stupid. You know what I mean? Um, I'm sorry, it's Moon and Aquarius. But I, I definitely feel like, you know... There's some type of hidden plan or some type of actions that you feel like are being carried out in secret that you don't necessarily know about, right? However, it's like you guys are so intuitive that you do know about this, this Capricorn. You do know that there is some type of fuck shit going on here. But why? What's causing it? Why, why are you showing us? Okay, but here's what's interesting. This queen of this queen of um, pentacles here, okay, especially with this page of wands showing up again, 
One, this can be a superficial relationship, meaning like what you see on the outside isn't necessarily what it is on the inside with these two people. Or it can also be the fact that, you know, maybe it's just a very sexual based one. It's one that's still in, 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 in a waiting period because you do have the high priestess. It's like you're waiting for it to end. You're not stupid. Like you already know what's going on. I think that you and this person, like you feel like it's destiny. You feel like you're meant to be with them, which is why, you know, you're definitely in the waiting period here. But also too, you know, you already know this. You don't have, they don't have to vocalize that to you because you already know what's being hidden. The Ace of Cups. Because I think for you, you know that they love you and you know that they care about you. How does Cancer feel about this, Ace of Cups? Ten of Wands. And that's all about success. It's just the period where there is a level of conclusion here or transformation that has to happen prior to moving on. That can also be why... You know, this person is quiet right now because they're trying to get their finances and their home life in order and cutting out a third party. Also, too, this person, I feel like, is very jealous of you in some sense. Like, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, for whatever reason, if it's not you, because remember, this is going to resonate differently for different people because there's so many people watching the readings. So some people have a third party situation. Some people have it where cancer, you are the queen of pentacles, but you're the one that's coming across as hiding something. You're the one that's coming across as very cold and calculated and detached. And some of you guys, it's, it's really about knowing that everything is going to come to, you know, full circle. However, I do think that however it resonates, the queen of pentacles right now is very fixated and almost jealous because of the distance that, that this relationship has put between, you know, them and this other person over here. I am getting that strongly. And it may be with a Sagittarius or a Leo. It's like this person is very concentrated on you. So not only do you have, you know, your person of interest focused on you, but now you also have a third party that's hyper-focused or hyper-fixated on you. That's a lot. A hell of a lot. What does uh, Cancer need to know about this situation? What does Cancer need to know about the situation? What's something you want Cancer to know about this situation? Okay, don't get mad at me, Cancer. It says, you can't say thank you enough. They deserve a medal for putting up with your ass. It also can be too, though, like, let's take it and let's flip it and reverse it. You know, the fact that you've really intuitively kind of allowed this thing to take lead and not necessarily, you know, taking complete control over it. It's like the fact that you're doing that is, is very stressful, I think, for you, right? Because you're usually the leader. Um, and I do think that you guys should completely try to relax in a situation and, you know, instead of getting pissed and lashing out, right? Like, I know I do that. Um, it's almost like take time for yourself. Like, go get a massa massa or massage. Hello. Um, go watch like a TV show. Go watch Netflix. I know your ass has something on the DVR right now. Okay. 13 shows of the ID channel, you know, pick one. Hopefully one of them's not snapped, right? As you're sitting there, like, looking at your, your boo, like, go ahead and try me. You already know I, I have snap dialed in, okay? I ain't the one, right? Um, but I just think that, you know, there's a lot going on. And I think that for you, because you hold everything inside and you don't vocalize it, you know, it may come off as you being frustrated or, you know, uh, really irritated right now. So just remember, take some time for yourself. Get a massage, relax, go take like a hot ass bath, you know, with Epsom salts and candles and all that shit. You know how it is, Cancer, I, I know. So just kind of keep that in mind, okay? So the external influence or what's blocking is the Eight of Wands. There's no communication, right? There's nothing, there's no movement here. Why isn't there movement? Because of the sun, okay? That may be actually a physically a Leo that's blocking it. Or a Leo that's hyper-concentrated or fixated on you. This can also be, 
you know, the sun is matters of the heart and it's also um, the I am. So you can be blocking this. More information, please, on, on why the eight of, sword, or eight of Wands is reversed for Cancer. The star card. Okay. You know, there is something that is coming to light here. Okay. And I know you're like, you know what? I don't want to hear it. However, there is something to be very hopeful about because there is uh, definitely a change coming. There's something very unpredictable about what's happening. There's something, you know, that's coming to uh, fruition here. And it's something that's good. I'm trying to find out where the hell the moon is today because I think it's in, in I don't think it's in Cancer. It may be in Virgo. Hold on. This is like a hold my beer moment. Sorry, guys. What's the date? Virgo. It's the first quarter moon and it's in Virgo. So, you know, I definitely think that there is a level of transition here. There's a level of something changing. There's definitely, you know, something that's coming out of just this waiting period and it's transitioning into something much, much different. You guys are like, what the hell is she doing? Look at me. I'm, I'm over here trying to tell you what the hell this moon means. Hold on, because you know my ass has notes, right? Think I'm playing? I'm not. Because I'm about to tell you about why it's changing into this first quarter. So just so you guys know, and today's the first day that it goes into the uh, first half quarter moon. And I'm telling you this because you guys are the moon, right? Um, it's, it's on its way through the monthly cycle, okay? Uh, when the week of the new moon happens, you may feel a little bit... Um, you may feel the start or start to feel some resistance in form of obstacles, okay? Challenges or decisions, um, your week of rest, like make sure, like that's why I said, you guys need to rest right now and have your intention set. And also um, really make sure that you're working harder than ever and be prepared to make a decision on the spot so that you don't lose your cool when something comes up. Because... You know, whatever you guys set your intentions out of, you know, prior, um, that that's all coming about. However, now's the time where the obstacles are coming in. It's like, okay, you want this relationship? Well, now here, take a look. Now, did you know the dude's over here day drinking? Like, did you know that? Did you know that, you know, uh, he has a dog named Fluffy that he lets kiss in the mouth? Like, is this something you want? Like, how are you going to, you know, come about this? Or all of a sudden, there's a crazy ex that he lives with, right? Um, he just lost his job. It's like they're asking you to prepare yourself for what you asked for. Get ready for all, you know, the possibilities that could happen because when they come at you, you're better prepared. And there is, like I said, a level of unpredictability here. Also, too, there is a message that is coming, possibly from an Aries, okay, or, you know, that emperor type energy, right? That boss like energy, that BDE. Um, and, you know, we like to call it the big dick energy, right? For those of you guys like, you know, old school where they're like, ear muff it, muff it. Um, anyway, sorry. Okay. Uh, I just feel like this person is somebody who makes a difference. This person is a boss. This person is very strong. This person has a lot to offer you know, you, and you're coming up as the empress. So if they're the emperor and you're the empress, that, that's a perfect match. How do you feel about this, Cancer? Oh, shit, here you are, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is also Cancer, too. Remember, Aries or Cancer. You may have Aries in your chart or heavy, uh, heavy fire energy. Uh, that could be a possibility also. Um... But I think you feel good about the situation. I think that you feel like this is a start to something new. This is a start to something that you can really settle down and wrap your brain around. Because look, Ace of Swords, isn't that crazy? You have a level of clarity. Because of that star card, a message comes in or some type of, you know, something that you've been wishing for or something that you've been waiting, it finally comes through. And I always look at the star card as a message, a message coming through to you. 
kind of interesting. This was the top and bottom of the deck, remember? And they both fell out as I'm talking about how you would feel about what's blocking everything. One more card here. Ace of Swords. I said, how does, uh, how would Cancer's person of interest feel? The Ace of Swords. You both would have a level of clarity. What's being realized here with Cancer and their partner? Five of Wands reversed. They're tired of waiting. They're tired of watching. This card is about watching and waiting. Um, I personally think somebody was stalking somebody's, you know, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, something. There's definitely something here. Um, somebody was watching and I think that this person is tired of waiting. And, and what are they tired of waiting for? For you, Cancer, communication, right? Mercury and Cancer, communicating with you. I feel like they want to touch you. Like they, like they're tired of being apart. Like they need some type of reunion here with you and them. Eight of Pentacles. So you and this person can sit down and work out any type of indifferences that you guys have. How do you work on them? You know, really paying attention to the steps that's needed in order to, you know, really make this come full circle, right? That figure eight. How do we turn something that's uncertain or unreliable into something that you have complete clarity on and that you can settle down with? And I do think that that has to do with having a level of communication with you and the person. Because right now, here's the King of Pentacles. So there's Leo um, and also Taurus energy, but it also could be Capricorn or, you know, uh, Virgo. But I do think, too, um, the longer that you guys go, the more distance that goes in between you or the longer that the time gets between you and them having a conversation, you know, I think that there's a level of fear here. And it's like, you know, it can go in two different directions, right? You can go in the Hermit or you can go in the Nine of Cups. So that's why it's important right now to express how you feel in a way that's very direct, open, and has a level of, you know, uh, the fact that there is a, there is something big changing here. There is a huge change happening as we speak. As your guys' outcome, we do have the judgment or we do have judgment, right? So judgment is about something coming back around. Um, this is definitely, you know, energy of, in my personal opinion, a level of duality, partnership, division, conflict, balance, rebalancing something, you know, either it's going to work or it's not. And I think that this is very beautiful. All right. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.